Here's the uh, Beta Sterling engine. A um, few modifications I made uh, from the last video. Uh, one is a I, uh, I honed the brass sleeve out uh, a little bit more um, and polished it up uh, so it's a uh, quite a bit smoother than it was when I initially put it together. I also remade the power piston which I took it apart here so you can kind of see the inner workings of it. Um, the power piston uh, obviously since I honed out the sleeve uh, I had to make it slightly bigger so it's a better fit. Um, and I also remade the displacer piston, which is uh, this part right here. Um, I made it a slightly tighter fit. Um, the last one had about 60 thousandths uh, difference in diameter from the sleeve to the displacer, and the new one only has about uh, 25 or 30 thousandths difference. So it's about 15 thou per side or 15 thou gap uh, all the way around. Um, I also shortened the length of it. Um, I took about 200 thousandths off the length uh, and then brought the uh, the power piston uh, down. So it basically made a uh, smaller volume uh, to run the Sterling cycle. So you can kind of see, I'll move it back and forth, how they come together. And they basically almost touch, um, which creates a lot of turbulence, which actually helps for a better cycle. So another thing I also did too, which wouldn't make a huge difference but I figured it might help was I shortened the length of the rod for the displacer so it made for a longer uh, linkage uh, that way it's not putting so much of an angle as it's uh, spinning on the pivot point so uh, less of an angle is less drag so I will put it back together and uh, run it for you and it actually the initial uh, engine that I had put together ran about just over a thousand rpm and uh, with this new setup uh, bigger or a slightly bigger displacer and uh, better fit better fitting power piston it actually increased it quite a bit it uh, topped out at about uh, 1550 RPM, so about a 500 RPM increase. So, all right, I will uh, put her back together and start it up.